Welcome to another edition of Math for No Reason. In this edition, we are going to prove this well-known result, which states that if the sum of the sides of a triangle, that is the perimeter, is given, then the area is greatest when the triangle is equilateral. So we will prove this using the very well known AMJM inequality. So let's first state what is the AMJM inequality in this context. So the AM or arithmetic mean is defined as the average of these numbers A1, A2, AM. So arithmetic mean is nothing but the simple average. The geometric mean abbreviated as GM is only defined when we are dealing with positive quantities. So it is geometric mean is only defined if we are dealing with positive quantities and in that case we have that to be equal to the product of a1 into a n raised to the power 1 by n. The very well known a n gm inequality states that if we have n positive numbers, if a1 into a n are all positive, then the a n is greater than or equal to the gm. And the equality holds if and only if all these numbers are equal. This is a very well known inequality uh, which can be applied in various situations yielding spectacular results. And we will use this inequality to prove this result about triangles with a given perimeter. So let the sides of the triangle be ABC and S be the semi perimeter, which is A plus B plus C by 2. Since the perimeter is constant, therefore the semi perimeter is also a constant. Let us apply the AMDM inequality to prove this result. Now, by Herald's formula, we know that for a triangle with sides ABC, the area is given by where S is the semi perimeter. Now, A is maximized if and only if S square is maximized because A is a positive number, and if we divide S square by a constant S. Remember that the perimeter of the given triangle is fixed. So therefore, the semi-perimeter is also fixed. So if I divide S square by S, that should also be maximized. A is maximized if and only if S square is maximized. And if and only if S square by S is maximized as S is a constant. Now we apply the AMG inequality on these quantities S minus A, S minus B, and S minus. C. These are all positive quantities as the sum of two sides of a triangle is greater than the third. So S minus A plus S minus B plus S minus C divided by 3, this is the AM of these three uh, quantities, is greater than equal to S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. Keep root of that. Now this simplifying the left hand side we get 3s minus 2s by 3 and that is greater than equal to s square by s whole to the power 1 by 3. Note that s minus A into S minus B into S minus C is nothing but S square by S. Now that gives us S by 3 is greater than equal to A to the power 2 by 3 divided by S by 3. And this 
leads to so we get that area of a triangle has to be less than or equal to s square divided by 3 root 3 equality holds in this inequality if all the terms are equal that is a will be equal to s square by 3 root 3 if and only if s minus a is equal to s minus b is equal to s minus c which means that a must be equal to b is equal to c that is the triangle is equilateral now when a is equal to b is equal to c s is equal to 3a by 2 so a would then be 9a square by 4 into 3 root 3 which gives us root 3a square by 4 the very familiar formula for the area of an equilateral triangle that's a good place to start